Tonight, we're hearing from a sergeant with the Alameda County Sheriff's Department who helped a suicidal man at Oakland International Airport who was threatening to kill himself. KTVU's Christina Rendon tells us the sergeant came up with a very unusual idea to keep the man from taking his life. Everyone has a story. I don't know what his story was, but his life was important to me. Inside Oakland Airport's Terminal 1 baggage claim, a man in a mental health crisis was met by Alameda County Sheriff's Office Sergeant Jeff Hazlett and a crisis negotiation team. He constantly had the knife to his neck the entire time. The man pacing back and forth was barricaded behind a carousel threatening to kill himself. He wanted us to shoot him. I explained to him that I didn't want to shoot him, didn't want to hurt him, but I wanted to know what the problem was. The Tuesday morning negotiations lasted more than three hours until Hazlett contacted airport operations to turn up the heat inside the terminal's baggage claim. The man began to sweat and took off his thick jacket. After shedding his clothes, deputies tased him. The temporary stun allowed Hazlett to take the man's knife away. He was sent to a psychiatric hospital for help. My opportunity to give him one more day was all I was thinking about. I wanted to give him an opportunity to see his children. He was talking about his children. So if I was able to get that knife away, get him the mental health that he needed, then that pretty much would give him extra life. Retired LAPD Lieutenant Adam Berkovici says there are daily instances of officers de-escalating situations the public doesn't hear about. He calls this a good example of experience and thinking outside the box. In this case, turning up the heat, creating a situation in which the suspect was physically uncomfortable, so he had to do some different things, which gave them the opportunity to intercede and take him into custody. It was brilliant, actually. It really was. It was a great job because at the end of the day, nobody was hurt. Hazlett says he's learned similar de-escalation techniques at Urban Shield training seen here in KTVU footage from 2016, where he was a team leader. But in his 24 years of law enforcement, this is the first time he's literally turned up the heat to cool down a situation. I definitely fear for my life, but I, more importantly, I feared for his life. Hazlett knows passengers' flights were impacted during the crisis negotiations, but says the man needed help, and in cases like this, time is your best friend. Christina Rondone, KTVU, Fox 2 News.